And police and protesters have clashed once again on the streets of Tehran. A riot police and pro-government Basij militia turned out in force to beat back opposition protesters in the Iranian capital. Uh, they marched despite warnings from authorities during a huge pro-government rally celebrating the 30th anniversary of the takeover of the U.S. Embassy. Reza Sayyid has reported extensively from Iran, has a wealth of knowledge of what's going on. He's at CNN Islamabad, he joins us now. And Reza, this showdown today was expected as this day is a key anniversary. Why is this day so significant? Yeah, this is a big day in Iran, Christy. This is the 30-year anniversary of the takeover of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. It was 1979 when supporters of Imam Khomeini stormed the U.S. Embassy and took hostages in protest of Washington's support of the former Shah of Iran. This is a this event is a huge symbol of the Islamic Republic. Every year on this anniversary, the Iranian government holds perhaps the biggest anti-American rally of the year. But what the opposition movement has done, the so-called green movement in recent months, is target big calendar days, big anniversary days like this one, essentially hijack the event and make it their own because they've been banned by protesting and holding rallies themselves. They showed up in huge numbers again today, but also showing up in huge numbers riot police, security personnel, and many pro-government uh, uh, crowds. And that's usually been a recipe for clashes. According to witnesses, there were many, many clashes, dozens of them uh, throughout uh, the day. Uh, witnesses telling CNN they saw a lot of people being beaten up, including women. Essentially, it looks like, based on the information we have, this huge show of force by the government, for the most part, neutralized this opposition movement. But at the same time, this is an opposition movement that once again showed that they can mobilize and they're still a force to be reckoned with. Christy? Online, the Iranian opposition is on fire. What kind of virtual activity have you seen? There's been a lot of activity, not just today, but in the days leading up to this uh, event. Look, the, the Iranian government has made it clear they don't want this type of uh, information, this type of disruption of these types of events to get out. And the opposition movement and its supporters do want the information to get out, and they've been doing it by using YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. In fact, within the past uh, hour or so, we have the what looks like the first video of former opposition candidate Mehdi Karoubi showing up. To today's event. There was a lot of talk whether he would come or not, and based on what we've seen of this YouTube video, Mehdi Karoubi, uh, one of the uh, fiercest critics of the government, did show up to this event today. Christy? All right, Reza, thank you for that. Reza Saeed joining us with his perspective on what's going on this day in Iran.